What's going on guys, Nightscape here, I'm back once again and today <laughs> I'm out here for the 10th anniversary of the best and longest running parkour event in the world, Jump Free Runs for the Love of Movement. This is a special 10 year edition in Amsterdam. I'm super gassed, we're gonna see some super high level movements, hopefully some fails. I'm hyped, let's get into it. The event is in full swing, but everyone's caught wind that this man wants to fall off a tall building. Who? So we got a huge squad going out to Amsterdam to watch. You fam. Who's doing what? You're a vlogger. <laughs> I'm not oh, doing nothing. Are you sure? Mate, that's a bit that's a bit much. Look. I dunno you know. <laughs> I dunno you know. I'm getting into it's a bit weird. How's that feeling? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's fine. Mission failed. He's asked us to leave. It was bait. But fair. there is like 20 people here. So <laughs> probably gonna have to come back and do a little sneaky mission thing. I think, mission. I think that sounds good. I think if I come back and just practice coming from two or three once, then I can just go to the top, because it's the same. So we're gonna dip, come back on a sneaky one, get it done? Yeah, I think so. All right, come on. I'm pretty sure that when I get up there, I'll be able to yeah. do just it. Yeah, just yeah if it feels right, for sure. All right, the squad has significantly smaller now. We're all ready. I got the drone. He's gonna do one or two preps. We're gonna go back and just get it. Security boss change. man or not, well, it's happening. I mean, this is what Joe does, man. He's the best in the world at this. Everyone knows he's got it, so. Let's make it happen. Walk in and go to like the fire exit, find the elevator, go straight to the top and then come out on the roof. I think you're way more likely to get to the roof by the elevator than you are walking, walking up with it. Person. Personal opinion as an ex uh, vector. What's going on guys, Nightscape here, I'm back once again. And today we are at a car park and Joe is doing a madness. He's about to do something that's gonna get us out the hood. We're, 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 we're going to be famous. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. I don't do that anymore. It's different now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're doing a breath at the top. I thought if we're going to bother him and create a huge group of lots of people, at least I'll give him a nice drone shot to work with. In a row. Come on, yes. Man, <laughs> like, consistency. Like, oh, 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 so I thought he didn't prep it, but he did prep it once, but he prepped it so quickly that we were maybe 30 meters behind him and he'd already done the prep by the time. So I got here, he was already at the top. Bish, bosh, bash. Best in the world. Come on. I've wanted to do this for years as well. So it's good. This one? Yeah, this one. I saw a picture of it years ago um, of someone just standing there and I was like, what? That surely, that's a descent. Like, that's it. What are you, man, saying? You're looking at it. <laughs> yeah. Impact. Impact for days. Impact. There's a yeah. lot of impact, like repetitive impact. I've struggled to get through that bit, so I've uh, gone like that, and then I'm having to change. 
So, I don't know. Well, oh, you struggle to like straighten your arms? Yeah, I'm having another prep. Alright, let's have a look. I mean, that seems blessed. You know, it's chilling, it's just so much impact on your feet. He's worried about doing it eight times in a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it's what Joey said, feet. he said his feet hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it in the ankles because it's like spreading. You take the impact kind of like this, rather than... Oh, true. Straight. Like, straight a, like a skater landing. Like, yeah, from our knees. You know what I mean? Nah, it looks hard. So then, you drop there, turn around, straight into that. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Yeah, is that, that a thing? Is that, is that it, it is yeah. a thing, but it's harder. But it's different. What's happening here? Just on the trying to come through, I've just hit my elbow. What are you saying, Max? You feel you feeling it or is yeah, it? We'll go to the top you're gonna go from the top, yeah? Shout some more water on that. That's open wound, bro. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Dream descent done. You happy? That was alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm happy, of course. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was good. And I'm being a good friend immediately, yeah, transferring the clip over to him. Yeah, don't you don't lack. Your stuff like yeah. I'm a pack mule. <laughs> I'm giving you the clip in like two seconds. Not fast enough. Not fast enough. Okay, not fast enough, but don't be lacking when you're sending clips to your mates. Don't be taking like seven days. All right. Well, we're back at the setup, and Charlie just demonstrated zero corks for us. Oh, yeah, is it a cork or is it not a cork? What's it? It's like, it's like zero corks. Cork zero, cork zero? Technically, it's a pommel circle. It's like your hips come up, and you like invert, but you stay facing the same way, and your hips like come back to where they were. So it's like up and over, and then back round. Like so, so it's like it is a cork or it isn't a cork. It's got nothing to do with corks. Really? Yeah, nothing, not even. Corks. All right, so he, yeah, he's not doing corks. So it's, he's still he's still on zero corks. <laughs> Lovely. All right, so I've just been filming. I haven't trained all day, but I'm gonna try and hit some gaps now. I got my eye on this hurdle from here over to the sand. All right, but first the airbag session's on. The hard part is just carrying enough momentum with only five steps run up because it's one, two, three, one, two. Normally the thing that gives me confidence on these gainers is, is just getting heaps of fucking speed that I'm always going to clear the gap. And I think I will, but like, you know, it's just a little bit harder. Oh, fuck, hold on. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, it, yeah. I just, I got a little bit stressed. I'll go for it now. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Fine. Sorry, man. Nah, it's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. You good? Yeah, I felt cold. Yeah, I was just like I'm a bit, a bit sideways. You smashed Dude, it still. Yeah, it didn't hurt at all. Like, it was Big fine. sense. Ah, Pete. Big sense. It's, it's more confined than I thought. I thought I had more space. Bro, but, that was big though. Ah. Fuck. You're it's fine. Annoying. But I think the yeah, it's fine, but. I don't have confidence to do it to sand now. Sadly, my camera from that angle didn't pick it up at all, but I did whack my foot on this. I whacked my foot on this, didn't I, Leo? Yeah, it's so annoying. <laughs> all right, I think that's enough of that nasty business. I'm gonna try the hurdle now to the, the sand. Oh, shit. Danger. Danger, boy. Chill in. Light work. That was pretty fine, but when I took off, I felt like a little bit less powerful than I thought I would. I thought I'd fly over it and I, I jumped it, but like still not as strong as I was, so I gotta take it a little bit easy. Nice challenge though. Big ups my man for filming. Come on. 
All right, man like Paul here is also going for the gainer. I might do it again today, I might not, but let's see if he inspires me. He's going for a prep now. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. It, that's exactly how I prepped it. You just running jump, bring your knee up, land on your back, and it's like sweet. You got it, for sure. Full send. Three, two, three, two, one. Jeez! Come on, man, like! Yes, bro! Three, two, one! Oi! Oh, mate, he's done it nice enough for the both of us now, I think. <laughs> I think the challenge is complete. Jeez! Alright, what's happening here? Standing free? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And probably stick it. That would be lovely. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking huge, man. That's a running jump, that's not a standing jump. What the fuck? Whoa, easy! Oh, that's so far, I don't know how it makes it look so easy. Boy. Whoa, almost! Almost! Oh, what the fuck? Good go! Let's go! Yes, come on! Let's go! Well fucking done! <laughs> I think it's just different in terms of like the uh, the atmosphere because like with project it's more competition based, so everyone's sort of in like a different sort of zone, whereas this is a bit more chill and it feels more like when you're going out training just with like more of like a lot of people though rather than a smaller group. I was just saying like when you're doing a normal backflip you're hitting it here okay but because you're hitting it from this position it feels like you're like adding more of a backflip. Right yeah it's like it's like an extra 90 degrees almost. It just feels awkward. No. Yeah, that was quality. I came to, for the love before we run our first project originally. I wanted to try and create this sort of vibe as well as a competition for when we did projects. So this has been definitely a big inspiration. So close, almost perfect, come on. If you want to come to Project Underground, it's 24th to 26th of March, 2023. My birthday as well, I'm gonna be 30. Yeah. Best event in the UK. Calm down, yeah. Say happy birthday to my man. Win some prize money. You enjoy yourself. Yes! Yes, that was fucking sick. Let's go. Jeez. Did you enjoy that, Joseph? I thought that was... <laughs> I enjoyed you hitting your head. <laughs> oh, no, that was good. That was wicked. Both parts. You and him. Both... Thank you for that, because I wouldn't have done it if it yes. was making me do it again. Uh, Stay vlogging out here. People work harder for the camera than they do for themselves. Okay, Elise has a nice run, and I'm trying to convince her to take the stupid drop at the end to the mat. What are you saying? From here, brrr, boing. Just do the little one now, like this, and see how it feels. Yeah, go on. Go on. Boosh! It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Boom, easy, easy. Double, double. Yes, come on! Yes. Oh, please do it. But just for me, for me. Oh, get them while they're hot, they're lovely. Sick. Oi. What are you saying, coach? I reckon triple. <laughs> you think you could do that instead of the dub full then? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a safer bet. Yeah. Oi. That was good. That was your first one without the block, right? Yeah, nice. That's that's out of the way, isn't it? Yeah, no, good though. Yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you.
Yes! Oh. Come on! Nasty! Oh. Yes! Let's fucking get it! Oh, well done! Nice. Very good! Thank you very much! <laughs> Alright, the day is moving on. I'm very tired. But Rosario, the Italian stallion, is looking at this fat gap. Come on. What are you saying, man? I'm saying, uh, Mamma Mia, and uh, come to Italy to eat some pasta, okay? <laughs> Holy shit. What happened what happened there? Did you slip or you slipped? Oh mad. Sometimes there are jumps or gaps that you with your eyes feel far, you know? But at the same time, if you prep it and you know you can do it, you have a way to understand how to jump. You're, you're cool, yeah, you going again? Uh, I feel good, I'm great. And I think I'm gonna try again to do it. Just yeah, once, and that's it. Yeah, let's go. I felt very good because I took it as, as like, Aaron came to me and said, come on, let's do this. And I was like, at first, oh, no, you, you, you're crazy. It's, <laughs> it's not possible. But then I tried and tried and tried again, and I was sure of myself, so everything went good. And, yeah, and you, you did it quite easily in the end. Yeah. yeah, and I pushed very farther than I thought actually, but it felt good. Though. Oh yes! No, 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 no! No, don't, 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 all right, that's about enough movement for the day. I basically didn't train because I'm so tired, but it's been good, and now after party is going to be crazy. Cadillac, Cadillac go, there Napoli, stop. He's on the blade. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, the after party was pretty good at the for a long moment this year. Went pretty fucking well for me, I feel like. <laughs> it's more of a jam feeling here than in competitions. Here you're just supporting each other, helping each other to get better and get to know more people. Just being with all of these people making me 10% better every time. <laughs> Alright, last day. We're all a bit mashed from the after party. But I got the paracetamol, got the pindakas. You know what it is. We're gonna get into it. We'll see if anyone's training and maybe we'll go talk to some people about, about the significance of this event to them. Let's go. <laughs> yes, mate. What is that? Is it's it a microphone. Mic? All yeah, right. yeah, so he. This guy, yeah, Mark, I'm pretty sure he goes to more jams than anyone in the whole world. So I'm really keen to hear his perspective on this jam. Let's go. For me, it's mostly about 
coming together and seeing all the friends I only see on this event, like in these 10 years. There's much more experience in the organization because they, they did it for 10 years. It was much more space than the other years. Yeah. Like they, they definitely learned and they didn't invite like 400 people. And now I think it was 250 or something. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it was very, very chill. It's the same vibes. After three years, it just feels like we're back and the last three years didn't happen. Everything is back to normal, which is a really nice feeling. Alter, Lux. You want to take that trick to comp? Uh, probably. Probably. Thank That's you. what we like to hear. This is the first international jam that I've been to. In the previous competitions, I had more stress about uh, training and what I do, what I should not do. I think this kind of vibe is better. You don't feel stress. I don't feel stress. <laughs> Absolute savage. Double gainers is something that I do this kind of stuff in the gym that not outside really often. I had also a very nasty double gainer fail uh, some years ago and now I did it outside again, which is also felt really good. Ready? Yeah, come on. Get that shit, get that shit. Can be landed. I have to. So close. You definitely can land it. So close. Just a bit more. Oh! Oh! Yes. That was yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, many. Uh, my name is uh, Philip van Ees uh, from Progression Freerunning. Uh, I'm in charge for the entire build for the, the large obstacles that are here. So we build everything in one day and uh, we're almost done. So we're going to take everything away and see if we can do that in four hours. We usually have around uh, 30 uh, volunteers to, to, to help us with the, the build and that takes about six to seven hours. And then in the end, it's always, we change some stuff. Oh, it would be nice to have a little bit of corner here. And that always takes the longest because then you're tweaking. But like the main setup usually takes about six hours. I think everybody missed just to be able to train with large groups and, and meet people. And uh, I think that's the, the best thing about this anniversary. Yeah. All right, that's it for another year of For The Love Movement Summer. This edition has been really cool, a bit less crowded, a lot more chill, and I hope you guys got an idea of what it's like to actually come to the event. I didn't do much training, but I had a great time anyway, and that's what it's about. It's really about vibing, getting to know everyone, and progressing where you can, but you don't have to come here and push yourself and go absolutely crazy. Just come, enjoy the event, see what's happening. Huge thank you to Jump Free Run for inviting me this year. Really appreciate it. Um, I've come in the past as a volunteer, and now, as you can see, everyone's taking down the setup and I'm gonna go help them. And uh, yeah, hopefully come back another year. Like, comment, subscribe, all them things, and cheers for watching.